So our workshop today looks at widening the knowledge of cybercrime, but also developing innovative approaches to obtain material on the cybercriminals as well. So we've got four aims for the workshop, which is one, understanding what information already exists on cybercrime. The second is what information on cybercriminals is needed to bring such individuals to justice and also later on to be able to map their criminal careers, like how we have with the traditional um, crime, we can, we've got the data to be able to look at their criminal career statistically, but at the moment it doesn't seem like we have that information to do it on the cyber criminals. Um, the third point is exploring innovative methods to capture the data, and then the fourth is actually looking at once we get the data, storing it, controlling it, and the accessibility that other people will have to it. So, uh, my background is in teaching um, penetration testing, risk management. And um, well, with us today, we've got um, a solicitor who specialises in cybercrime from uh, Panoni. And um, then we also have government agencies, including the Home Office, um, who look at cyber research. We've got SOCA as well, Serious Organised Crime Agency here, and um, Biz, uh, the Department of Business Innovation and Skills, who will also be providing more information for us. So today we've been uh, discussing the sort of how to measure and monitor cyber criminal activity. Um, we've had some really interesting uh, discussions around the types of data that we want to collect and, and how we might use it and also uh, our definition of cyber crime. Uh, so there's quite a broad range of discussions on what we think cyber crime is. Um, some of the interesting discussions that we've had are really around the, the impact that technology has had in terms of um, accelerating criminal activity or, or, or creating more impact from criminal activity and around lowering the entry barrier to criminal activity as well. Um, so, so it's been quite a broad discussion and very useful for, I think it's been very useful for me and, and the others around the table. Sure, I'm David Cook from, from Pannoni Solicitors in Manchester and I do cybercrime and data security work and this is one of the few opportunities I get to, to meet people from I suppose the major investigative and prosecutorial agencies and hear things from their perspective so it's good to get our heads together and hear our different views on, on cybercrime. Well one of the main outcomes from today was actually learning what each organisation really needs um, and what what is lacking um, in the data out there. So we found out about the different aspects that we want in there, about the demographics we want of these people to actually start to understand who they are, where they're coming from, why they've got into it, um, was a major point as well. I, I think there are issues with um the detection and prevention of these offences. So really going forward, and it sounds like Lancaster University are almost at the forefront of that, uh, some kind of a policy or, or, or blueprint in terms of um, taking the data in order to um, help change things in the future so these things are a lot more easily defined and um, detected. Um, well, next we're going to then look at developing research proposals so we can actually answer a lot of the questions that were brought out today and actually get the information that these government agencies need um, to actually start looking at these cyber criminals and tackling um, the different problems that we have.